Man, it has been a minute, but I'm back and I'm ready to talk about some pipe tobacco. Stick around. Fellas, welcome back. It's Robert, your everyday gentleman. And yes, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, but the awesome thing is that even though my last video was about two and a half months ago, I think it was early December, I was right around 2,100 subscribers at the time, and now I'm getting close to breaking 3,000. I'm pretty close to that number. What's up, guys? Interrupting real quick just to let you know, I actually recorded this video about two weeks ago, but my computer died on me, of course, and uh, I'm back up and running now. But in that time, I'm actually over 3,000 now. I'm actually getting close to hitting 3,200. So again, thank you very much for your support, and let's keep this thing going. So I just want to thank you for continuing to support me and my channel, even though I've lacked in uploading, I will be getting back into it, but I just wanted to take some time and thank you all for your continued support. Now today you'll notice that I'm not where I usually record in my living room or in my room with my fragrances, I'm actually in my garage, which is where I've been spending a lot of time lately working on a couple different things, working on my business and um, uh, just a number of things that I do in the garage. Um, so I'm filming out here today. Because we're talking about pipe tobacco, uh, it's gonna be a little rainy, it's a little cold outside, so frequently I'll sit here and smoke a little pipe when I'm working on my laptop or just working on things in general. Um, and today we're gonna be talking about how I go about packing my, uh, my pipe so that I get the best overall smoking experience. There's a few different ways that you can do it. I'm gonna share with you my method and some of the things that you wanna look for whenever you're packing the pipe so that you get the best overall smoking experience. But before we get into it, if this is your first time here, I want to welcome you. If you're into not only pipe, but also things like men's style, fragrances, grooming, uh, fitness, whiskey, cigars, and other topics for the everyday men, then this might be the place for you. Consider subscribing and joining the growing EG family. And if you're already a member, I want to thank you for your continued support. And without further delay, let's pack up this pipe. All right, so to start, obviously you're gonna need your tobacco. Now I'm gonna be packing the tobacco straight out of this tin. Uh, this tobacco is dry enough uh, for me to smoke, at least for my taste. I'm not gonna let it sit. You can see I have my tray back there, but I'm not gonna be using that. And so what you're gonna to wanna to do is just get a pinch of the tobacco, uh, nice and loose, and just kind of drop that into the bowl, kind of letting gravity do the work, letting it fall into the bowl, and. Uh, just put enough in there that it gets kind of like it's overflowing and once we got that then we're going to kind of press it down and do a very very light compacting of the tobacco. Now with the next step you're going to take some more tobacco. Um, it's not as much as the first time initially, we've already got some tobacco in the bowl, but I'll take another pinch, put that on top, let it kind of overflow a little bit again, and this time when we compress it, we're going to compress a little bit harder. If the first one, you kind of think of it as a baby press, this would be like a mama press, a little bit harder than the previous one, but not very hard yet. And then here we have the final packing of the bowl. So it's basically a three-step process. You're gonna take another pinch, put that on top of the bowl, and then give that a nice firm press into the bowl. So you've got your first packing, which is kind of a baby press. Your second one would be the mama press a little firmer. And then this final one gives it the most firm press. You give it a quick check, make sure you've got a nice draw, and then just press it nicely around so you've got a nicely packed bowl that's ready to smoke. So the main thing that you're gonna to wanna to look for whenever you're packing your pipe is to make sure that the consistency of the draw when you're uh, drawing on the pipe, I, I guess you could compare it to drinking soda out of a straw versus drinking a freshly poured milkshake. If you've ever had a milkshake like I've had, you know that sometimes drinking those through a straw is just a pain in the ass where that straw might collapse. You don't want that much of a, of a struggle resistance to get that draw. You want just a little bit of resistance that'll uh, allow for the pipe to be packed properly. Uh, you wanna make sure it's packed um, 
not too loose because if it's too loose then it might just turn off which means you might have to relight it which isn't that big of a deal but it can be a little bit of a pain in the ass if you are doing other things you have to con uh, constantly relight it and now obviously you pack it too tight then you know you're not going to have a good draw it's going to be a struggle to get the smoke so um, either one is not very good you want to find that uh, balance right in between the two and I find that when you have the consistency of drinking, like I mentioned, the soda through a straw, that's when you get the best uh, smoke out of the pipe. Um, after you're done packing it, then you're ready to light. Now, as far as lighting, what I do is I get a soft flame lighter, like I mentioned before. Um, I use a side lighter or an angled lighter. And uh, basically all you're gonna do is just kind of singe the top and then I'll use my tamper to kind of flatten the top of the uh, the bowl again because it will start uh, popping out and, and uh, disfiguring because you're lighting it up and you're warming it up um, so I'll tamp it to kind of press it down again and uh, the initial singe is just to warm everything up and then after I tamp it then I'll light it again and it'll be ready to smoke so let's do that now That's pretty much it. Man, I really like this uh, Seven Seas Black Blend. It's a really good, uh, nice aromatic blend tobacco, nice and mild. It's one of my favorites to smoke. Um, aromatics is what I usually go with. I do smoke some uh, English blends, some uh, Virginia Periques, but uh, what I gravitate to the most is aromatics. I know some people don't like it, but it is what it is. It's what I enjoy, and uh, that's what I'm smoking now. So. That's pretty much it as far as when it comes to packing and lighting your pipe. Um, you know, if you have any other suggestions or anything like that, um, make sure you put those down below. I know that my method isn't the only method that there is out there. There's a number of ways that you can pack your pipe. Ultimately, what it comes down to is what works best for you and what you enjoy doing the most. The three, the three pack method works best for me and um, you know, hopefully it does for you as well. Now, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you let me and YouTube know by hitting that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, and do all the things that help this channel continue to grow. And remember, being a gentleman is an everyday thing. Now I'm gonna give it back to lighting up this pipe and getting to work. Cheers, fellas. We bump and pippity hop And as happy as I can be